Hey everyone, it's Morgan Yates, and today I am back with another at-home Instagram photo shoot challenge. If you have not seen my first one, I will have that linked where I attempted four different at-home, cool, like, spiced-up Instagram styles. It's trying to take things a step above a pic on your couch, and we are all still at home here in LA, so that I would give it another go and try out four new different little at-home photo styles. If this is the first video you're seeing of mine, I would love if you would subscribe. This was inspired by a TikTok we saw. <laughs> Surprise! We saw a TikTok where basically I think she set up a self timer cam, but we're gonna take them of each other. Where we throw a bunch of just like prints or newspapers or whatever in the air and they kind of like fall back down and then you're posing and looking at the camera. As we can see here, we have moved all of the furniture that normally is on this wall. I thought it'd be a cute little denim moment, a little simple outfit. This is our set. We brought in some backup lighting. How many tries will this take us? Probably a hundred. Okay, do you wanna place some of these? Yeah. How much? floor to, I mean, you want, do you want to be like center? Okay, hello like portrait modeling life. Do like, do you want more floor or less floor? I'm just gonna take these shoes off. Will you hand me some of the white books? Like, yeah. should I take like just some like regular pig? That yeah. way in case this giant challenge doesn't work out, we have a backup. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Thank you. Wait, can I put, can you make the stack a little more diverse? Two, three. Okay, do you want where like your arm is not there? Okay. Yeah. Do, yeah, either, yep, but yeah, do that. Maybe. Now do a little like bendy bendy that way with that arm, kind of like with the, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, whoa, I like the closer. <laughs> you artiste. This is Adrian going, <laughs> getting the shot. Here's our ground. But I like can't throw that many, like they aren't gonna. I think you need to fan it out and have it face me. Like, yeah. But you're gonna need to like already have them kind of fanned. Or like what's my, I'm gonna throw and then what's my pose? Bam. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 and now I, I know. My face was not I was about good. to say, if your face was good, that could've been good. But that's okay. We learned. Okay. We learned. Oh, like, oh my God! Ah! Okay, we have so got it. I've just gotta look that's, back. That's cool. One, two. Scale of one to ten, how dumb do I look in that one? You actually don't look that stupid. You look not fully comfortable. Okay, no, this is good news. This is good news. We have good news. Okay, this looks really sick in terms of where the pictures are. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying. Oh, uh, yeah, for sure. Love that we just rearrange our home like once a week. Reviewing round one. You know. Recreating things that you see people do on social media just never goes exactly how you think it would. <laughs> because the whole goal here was that we were gonna throw, like sit, and throw the prints up in the air and that they were gonna fall and we were gonna like look all cute and whatever. So we started out just with some basic photos of us. I just really wanted like simple gear, like, you know, simple outfits, simple props. But we have some really cute ones in here, especially some of the closer ones. And then we went for it with the throwing of the prints. And as you, <laughs> as you can tell with my attempt number one, I completely forgot to do anything with my face. I don't know if we ever really got a good option because sometimes the prints would just like fly that way. My technique was off. They're okay. It's like if I look okay, then there's like one print or like the prints look good and like I don't look good. What we may end up doing is trying to Photoshop because we got some cute ones where like the prints look good and I just don't. So maybe we can take things a step further and just Photoshop the prints in the air onto a photo of me looking normal. I give us out of 10 for this, like I give us a seven. We had some cute options. I don't know if our original vision of recreating that video, I don't know if we can say we like accomplished that goal, but as a whole, I did get some photos that I thought were really cute that I will post. So I'm satisfied at the end of the day. I'll give us a seven, but it was fun. You know, I feel like trying to recreate ideas from TikTok never goes exactly how you think it will. That actually brings me into today's sponsor, which is Zen. If you love TikTok, then you will love Zen. It's a very similar app where basically it's short form video content tailored to you. So you'll have your following page where you see all the videos of people that you're following. And then you also have a for you page. So based on the content that you've interacted with and liked, that will begin to tailor your homepage and show you videos that it thinks you will like. And what's so awesome about Zen is because because not only is it entertaining, but you can earn actually a lot of money just from using the app. So if you join and use my referral code, which I'll have on screen and in the description box, then you start out with $1, but for every friend you refer, you get $6 just directly into your account. If you continue to use the app day to day, then you're earning more money. If your friends continue to use the app, then you're earning even more just from them using it. I think you can earn up to $20 a friend, which is a ton. And if you refer five friends, then you get an additional $10 bonus. It starts to add up really quickly and it's super easy to withdraw your earnings just from their cash out page. You know, even if you refer just one friend, that's $6. That's more than a Starbucks drink for this week. The fanciest drink on the menu and probably an Aventi for that. But it's just a really easy, fun way to earn some extra money and also, again, just to stay entertained because I 
I know I've been spending so much time on my phone. My screen time is through the roof over the past couple of months. So I'll have Zen linked below if you wanna check it out. As well as, if you've ever wanted to be a content creator yourself, getting in in the early days of an app is always the way to do it. It's the prime time to get a big follower base. So just something to think about. But yeah, thank you to them for sponsoring this. I look forward to seeing a bunch of photography ideas on the app. Maybe we'll do a part three and recreate some of those. But yeah, we will get on into round two. Oh, this became a trend, I don't know, of everyone taking their mirrors outside and like either putting it on the ground or like propping it up or whatever and just taking these like iPhone mirror pics with the outdoors in the background. Seems simple enough. We're gonna see how this actually looks in execution. This is the mirror we will be using for today and we will proceed with extreme caution. We're gonna try to do it to where the above is palm tree. I would like to know how anyone, oh my gosh, I am blinded. How is anyone doing that? A little lower. Whoa. That's not, that could work. <laughs> I don't want to get in your picture. If I hold it here and like lean in, then it's less going in for it. So that you get like that lightness. What? Goodbye, get out of here. <laughs> all right, this was just all around bad. <laughs> I did end up posting one of these a while ago, but guys, I mean, no one tells you how hard this is. A, how is everyone not blinded? If you want it to be a well-lit photo, the mirror is like reflecting and magnifying the light into your eyes. Like our corneas were burning. Like proceed, uh, drop my phone. <laughs> proceed with caution if you want to try this out. Again, I just don't get how anyone's taking these because if you put it on the ground, it's like, I don't know whose good angle that is, but it's not my good angle. I played around with some poses. It was so hard. And I was trying to get like the light reflecting on my eyes because Adrienne effortlessly, I'll put some of hers on screen, got all of these awesome photos like it was no big deal. And then I started trying because I was like, oh, it'd be cool if my eye was lit up. Not cute at all. Like, I just don't know how she did it. Like, my face looks so streaky. I ended up posting this option after I put my filter on it. And that's really all I have to say about that. I give this like a three out of 10. This is not my favorite. <laughs> For this next one, I don't have a clear, clear vision, but I wanna get some kind of cool like glam in-house photo. I haven't like dressed up for anything in a hot minute, so right now I'm wearing a dress and in our hallway upstairs, I feel like maybe we could try to make it look a little like glam. I'll show you what it looks like, but first here's my outfit. I don't know if the shoes will even be visible, part in the messy room, but I just put on a little black dress. Might pour up a little like fake, well, it'd be real, but a little wine glass prop as well. We're gonna wing it. All right, prop in hand. We're gonna go for something. Here. I don't know what to do, alright? I don't remember how to work the camera. I <laughs> forgot. <laughs> well, gosh darn. Diggity darn. Gosh diggity. The only thing I wish kind of is that there was like something in the young foreground that like was cool. It's like, it's because when you, yeah, same. Like, cause I'm not sweating now, but it's when I'm in that. Yeah, it's like the nervousness. Nervy. Do you like, I feel like, oh my god, this is cool. Hello. Let me make sure those were in folk. Flash, give me a pre I will Can give we you. Can we speak in words? Or are we three years old? Or three. We need Unboring. something in the four grizzly ground. But what? Maybe if I get from up here. Okay, let's try let's it. Let's try it. Oh, cool. Okay. Cute or nah? Your face is just so beautiful. Ew. Actually, I think we got a couple cute ones, but we're gonna go downstairs. We just recently redid our dining room. If you haven't seen that video, I'll have it linked. It was like a little room like a video redoing our living room and our dining area. And it looks a little bit better. And so just in case the lighting's better down here, which it will be, um, we are gonna take a couple options down here as well. I mean, I'll take this so you know what I'm working on out here because it ain't it. I just don't know. I just want something that's like stuff. We just took a trip around the kitchen. <laughs> Started out here. It was backlit. It was not the move. Then I was like, I just want like a detail shot. Like I want some cute little like holding the drink type of photo. I don't really know even if my face isn't in it. Then we were like, oh, we're idiots. We should switch this way where the light is onto us. And then we pose with this in the background. So I don't know. We're going to see what we got. All right. Round three. Again here, we were just trying to take like some elegant little at home type photos that like looked a little nice. And the hallway ones didn't turn out bad. The issue was that the color temperature in there was so bad because there's no like light from windows coming in. So it was just super yellow as well as like, I don't know, just seeing all of like the door frames and the door knobs and whatever isn't like the best look. But I do like how she ended up coming in at the angle to where the lights were kind of in the foreground a little bit blurred. And we have a couple cute options. Like they're not like life changing, but 
but I think it's cute. So overall, not too bad. Then we went downstairs. Again, not terrible, but like not cute. This is the world's somehow streakiest wine glass. <laughs> it's like so dirty, I don't understand. Even though it's clean. She tried to make it a little fancy with like the wall in the foreground. I was okay. Then I just wanted to take some cute little detail shots, maybe for like a fun carousel. So there were some cute options of that that turned out okay. And then since the lighting was so bad, because it was kind of backlit from that window, we moved over in front of uh, just our other wall of photos right there. That's kind of cute, a little cute. Oh, then Adrian was like, take some in the mirror, and that lasted for one second. Wasn't really it either. So overall, I feel like we do have a couple usable options in this. I don't think they're anything that special or creative necessarily compared to maybe some other things we could come up with, or especially compared to round four that we're about to get into. So I give this a six. We'll give this a six out of 10, maybe a 6.5, because there are a couple of good end results, but it's not like a life-changing idea. Next round, I look like I'm about to perform on stage alongside Britney Spears in this outfit. <laughs> but this one, we're just kind of winging it again, going with like a little idea we had because we both have some neon lights in our room and Adrian has these like LED light strips that go around like her, the entire perimeter of her room and all these different color changing light bulbs. And basically we're just gonna see if we can play around with making the room dark and then like just using a bunch of different colors and having these neon lights in the background and seeing what comes of it. I don't really know. I just thought it'd be fun to wear a little sparkly shirt since this would kind of reflect some light. Taking this from my wall. I mean, we could just like take off a frame and put it there. We could like fake this to where somehow we're like in front of it. I just don't know yeah. how. Oh, oh, quiet on set. <laughs> See, so we have we can have one color going here, one from up there. Actually, these two look cool together. Adrian, this looks cool. Just take one so I have a scoot further this way. Oh, I see what you're saying. So Adrian had the idea to put the camera here and like put literally like smash your face up against the light basically and take them super close in and they look so cool. So now I'm gonna attempt into it. Photo shoot complete. Now it's becoming daylight again. <laughs> These were so cool. The side move was it. Yeah, that was oh. lit. Suddenly it's like someone who stayed out in Vegas all night and then like the sun is rising. <laughs> Round four. Guys, I am obsessed with how these turned out. So first we started right here and then decided we wanted to angle it back a little bit more just so that um, it's less of like the background of her room. So here's what they were looking like. I am obsessed. Yeah, these are just a bunch of options. I just put my filter on it, kind of tweaked the color some a little bit. Just wow, what? Guys, I love these. Adrian also had some really fire ones. I'm gonna put a couple of hers on screen. Maybe I'm overshooting it here, but I would give us a 10 for that. Like I think those turned out so cool and at first glance you probably wouldn't think that that was just like taken in a bedroom with like the blinds closed and whatever so those are my favorites let me know the order of your faves below and thank you so much for watching again thank you to zen for sponsoring this video make sure you download the app and start earning money at the link below and i will see all of you guys in my next video